my name is Laanna Douglas and I'm a women's advocate for women dealing with fibroids and other reproductive health issues. So I started my period at the age of 10. After that point, I started having issues with having accidents on myself, accidents in school. Having the constant pain and dealing with the bleeding was pretty um, emotional for me. In high school, I just remember having accidents and I would be embarrassed to say anything to any of the other young girls that were in my class. I remember smiling everywhere I went, like everything is fine, but deep down inside I was sad, I was hurting. And it was like part of my childhood was taken from me. So I uh, initially found out that I have fibroids in my mid twenties. I was pretty shocked, I never heard of fibroids. And I felt like, wow, I didn't know that I had this. Is there anyone else out there that's going through this? I didn't understand what fibroids meant and what it meant for my fertility journey. And, and when I see, you know, a lot of the family members, they were getting pregnant quickly. They didn't have any issues. So I felt like I was going to be the only one that wouldn't have children. And I spiraled into a really, really dark depression. I felt like I, my body betrayed me. I felt like I couldn't give my husband a, a baby. And um, at that point, I, I had thoughts of suicide. That, that... I'm just so grateful for the love of my husband. He said, look, I love you with or without children. That drew us even closer. And after eight years of trying to get pregnant, we were able to have um, our daughter, Olivia. I was, you know, set. I'm having a hysterectomy. These fibroids have grown. They're causing even more pain. Just take everything out. I was ready to move on. And I found out about the robotic laparoscopic myomectomy. And I had that done in February of last year. And who would have thought, I think six or seven months later, we became pregnant. And I'm so glad that I didn't give up. Once the dust settled, I'm still here. And I'm here to show my daughters, regardless of what you go through, there's so much in store for you.